Hello everyone, I'm Colin Kness. I know a lot of you are going to be wondering what kind of a contraptions Colin got on that plane today. Well, I have a jig on a hand plane, so stick around and let me show you how that works. Not long ago I received an email from a new woodworker and he's having trouble trying to get a nice straight flat edge on the top of his wood and it, his explanation is he's going through an awful lot of wood to try and get a straight flat edge. Well I can tell you that practice is the best for that but in the meantime there are things that we can do to try and help ourselves along so that it keeps our interest in woodworking and one of the things that I just came up with was a jig like this that you could use on your plane and the purpose of it is to keep the plane from moving back and forth and what it does is it rides against the edge of the wood and it allows you to get a nice flat edge. Now it doesn't help with this, um, that's something you're going to have to work on, but what it does do is give you a nice flat edge. So once you've get, got it straight and even, the next thing you can do with a couple of passes, I'm amazed how well it worked, um, and you can run right through and get a nice straight edge on that. So let me show you how I put this together. Okay, before I do anything, I just wanted to touch up the bevel on this plane. That's better. Okay, so I have all my wood here all ready to go, and all I need to do is cut it to the right size. Now the, before I do that I'm going to need to mount a hole in the end of it right up, right up at the top here and that's so that I'm going to be able to put my mag switch in there because that's going to be the key to the entire system is to be able to take this thing off and on. Oops, got that upside down. Uh, because that's the key to the system, is using it up and down and being able to install it quickly and easily. So let's go over to, yeah that's good, let's go over to the drill press and set up and drill that hole. Now I'm going to be making two holes, a full hole and then a partial hole, but if you, if you can see just under the bit there from where you're looking at, I have two lines there and I've marked my wood so that I make my first hole there and then I can just slide that down and make the other partial hole. So you'll see and then we'll put one of these mag switches in and we'll show you how that looks. Now, take one of those mag switches out, they should fit right in there. Should fit. Well, it's a little bit on the tight side. I'm going to have to do a little bit of sanding on that. I don't usually have to do that, but anyway, it will fit in there. There it is. Okay, that's good. So I thought the best way to figure that out is for me to be able to look straight down there. I can put that mag switch in there lock it down and now when I flip it over I can actually take that and twist that a little bit so that I make sure that I can get it fairly, fairly even. Okay, that's good. Now all I need to do now is to attach that and I'm just going to countersink that and drill for that. There, I'm just going to countersink those holes so they're nice and flush.
Okay, that's perfect. Now, I knew before I started this that I was going to have to trim this off because I really only want this to be probably less than two inches is going to be fine for that. So I'm going to take this to the table saw and I'll be able to just trim that off. You know, I'm, uh, I'm definitely out of practice on doing this. Okay, that's better. Now, what I want to do, here's the way this is going to work. So we'll put, put the plane over top of the hole, and now we'll be able to use my mag switch, and that's going to lock that plane firmly on there. And now I have a place where I can keep this from moving up and down, and all I need to do now, is run that along Wow, that cleaned that up just perfectly There you can see There's a little bit of a uh, light there from the, the shadow of the plane But you can see that it's nice and flat all the way along. That's great. That worked. That worked really well. Well, and there, there's the little jig for a hand plane. Who would have thought? Uh, but you know, it works well. I'm surprised how well it worked. But you know what? This isn't really a permanent solution for doing edge grain cutting. This is really just to clean up something uh, that you might need done as the last little bit when you've got it straight and can't quite get it perfectly flat um, because you know working with a hand plane takes practice 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 uh, and better quality blades even in older uh, older planes or better quality planes uh, will make it much easier to use as well. I'm Colin Cadet for Woodwork Web. Thanks for watching.